Hello and welcome! Today we are making a floating office desk. We started this channel having just completed the renovation in our home and during that time we worked from our dining room and our, from our sofa and it just wasn't cutting it. We really needed a dedicated office space and being a woodworking channel it was only natural that we were going to make our office desk. So this desk here is super easy to make, it requires minimal tools, it's totally affordable. We made ours out of construction 2x4s, but you can make yours out of whatever you wish. Um, you can change the dimensions on it to suit your needs. We've chosen to make our desk a little bit deeper um, in order to house our larger monitors. Um, it looks great and there are plans also that go along with this video which I will link in the description box below. The plans just go into a little bit more detail that this video doesn't allow for. And as a slight side note, I was still pregnant while we were filming um, the build of this desk, so you'll see a little bit more of Michael and you'll see my belly getting bigger. The first step of this build is to lay out all of our timber and we want to measure out our desired length plus around 200mm extra of wastage. Um, this will get trimmed off at the end. Using the chop saw at this stage is just a really quick way to get all that timber chopped down to the correct length. But equally if you just have a hand saw, use that. We're not being super accurate just now. This next step is really important. We want to lay out all of our timber um, with all the imperfections and knots facing down. We want all the nice, the nicest side facing up because that's going to be our desktop. Surface finish. Yeah. But we just did it every time. And as much as possible, we want to orientate our timber into this S-shape pattern. This will reduce the chance of the desktop deforming with any seasonal changes that occur. And be sure to number that timber. So we bought rounded edge construction timber, but if you bought square edge timber, then you can likely skip this stage. So we're using the thicknesser to take that rounded edge off and have a nice square edge finish. Um, and this also ensures that all the planks are of equal thickness, but equally you could use a table saw and rip it through. We wanted to chamfer the front of our desk just so it would be a bit more comfortable to lean on. Um, you could equally profile this with a router or just break the edge with some sandpaper. But remember, it's just that front edge that you're doing. Forgive me, I completely waffled during the scene. Essentially, what I'm saying is we're going to use biscuits here to help align the timber during the glue up. This keeps the top surface flush and helps force alignment when the timber isn't perfectly square and straight. As we're using construction 2x4s, they tend to have a lot of defects, so this step is more critical. You could also use dowels or dominoes, or if your timber is good, you can skip this step altogether. Now I think Michael must have rushed this biscuiting phase because when it came to gluing up, we noticed that some of our planks were slightly raised than the others. Um, so this is really easy to fix just now, just take a little bit of time and get it right. It'll pay off in the long run. Before you even touch any glue, I highly recommend having your clamps ready and doing a dry run first. Um, it's going to get stressful with all that glue drying, so know what you're doing. Um, now you want to glue all the joining surfaces and you want to make sure those biscuits are well glued as well because their job is to swell um, and lock that desk into the correct position. Now we alternated our clamps top and bottom and we used clamping cools with packing tape on the touching surface to the desk just so that when the glue dried it didn't um, it didn't glue itself to the cools. We then removed a lot of the squeeze out from the glue while it was still wet. <laughs> so while the desk is outside drying in the workshop I've come into the house to start prepping the space. Now while this desk could be a freestanding unit with legs or trestles we've opted to integrate it into the room and we're going to do that by ba placing battens along this wall and the back wall and then supporting the third side with this unit and then the desktop will simply rest on top. Now we've gone around with our stud finder finding all the different studs in the wall so we know exactly where's a solid fixing to screw into. We've got a laser level shining so that we know what height we need the battens to be. Um, so then it's just a case of getting getting the battens, lining it up to the laser and fixing to the wall. Mm. 
So now we want to cut our disc to size. Um, measure twice or thrice. Our walls in our office are not perfectly 90 degrees, so this is a custom cut here. Um, and this is a perfect opportunity to do so, if needs be. You want to cut your short edge first and then your long edge. Now we like a tidy desk, so we decided to drill two additional holes into our desktop. A 20mm hole for a monitor stand and another 70mm hole for our cable port. So after drilling the pilot hole, we started drilling with the hole saw. And remember to check your batteries, because I think poor Michael had a bit of a pig of a job here uh, getting that hole saw through with some less than fully charged batteries. We also ran the router round with a chamfer bit, um, just to neaten up the edges on the top and the bottom. Now's also a really good time to crack out the wood filler if you've got any cracks that need filling. Michael hates sanding, but I actually quite enjoy it. Um, but due to being pregnant, the sander was a bit too loud for me to, to do the sanding. Um, so we started off with an 80 grit and then worked our way up to 180 because we're going to be finishing this desk using a hard wax oil. Now, over the years, we have experimented using really cheap sanding discs, but we in truth, we have found that the more expensive ones last so much longer and you get a much better finish from them. So we will link in the description box below um, all the tools that we recommend for this job. We've chosen to use a tinted hard wax oil to finish our desk. Um, so a hard wax oil is less hard wearing than a varnish, but it's easier to maintain over time. Um, we also feel that it gives a more natural finish um, and it doesn't yellow like a varnish tends to do. So wood also moves a surprising amount as it swells and shrinks with the humidity. So sealing the piece all over um, with a paint, a varnish, a wax um, will reduce how much it moves during the seasons. We've chosen to use stretcher plates to secure our desktop to our battens. And that's just for the simple reason as it allows for the wood expansion throughout the different seasons. It's then time to bring in your desktop, placing it down on those battens and then simply screwing through the stretcher plate into the desktop, ensuring that you use the correct slot in the stretcher plate. And voila, you're done. Enjoy your desk. We are so happy with how this office desk turned out. Uh, so happy, in fact, that we decided to make two. <laughs> Uh, they now span the length of this wall. Uh, we've both said how excited we are to start working in this space again. Um, if you want to follow the plans, that go along with this build and I will link that in the description box below. Do let us know what you think in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video do give us a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos like this. As a startup channel we very 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 much appreciate your support and um, yeah we're just getting started so until next time cheerio!